Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a link to a video that somebody drew this. And it could be drawn a couple of different ways, but I'm going to draw it the way the gentleman drew it. Drew it. Because one, it spikes, and then the spikes become less of a spike. You could do this with a polygon tool, but not changing the spikes. And the way he did it is pretty unique. And we're going to take an ellipse, hit the plus key on your keyboard, and then while holding down the control button, go to that edge till it gets on that quadrant. I fill it in with the Smart Fill tool to get that shape, and I'm going to left click, right click. And then, then you can figure out your degrees that you want. And I'm going to put this on this node down at the bottom. I'm going to rotate it to negative 5 degrees. Whoop, I didn't make a duplicate. So then I can go back to 0 and have that shape. Now I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool. I'm doing exactly what he did, but the person couldn't quite. Well, he does no talking and, and goes rather fast. So now you've got this shape. We're going to take that shape and we're going to put it into the center of the page, which I have indexing lines. So if we grab this shape with that four-sided cross and it should snap right to the center. Now I'm going to left click, right click. And this is where you could change it up and make your... Matter of fact, I'm going to make a duplicate of that guy and move it over because we're going to do a couple of things a little different. I'm going to use the two-point line on this one. I'm just going to draw some lines. They don't even have to be straight... Um, and such like that. Now, I like using the Smart Fill tool instead of the Weld tool on this. So I'm just going to hit this and nudge it over once. And what I'm doing is I'm creating the shape. Because if you don't do this, your lines, even though you tell it there's no lines, we can uh, right-click our mouse and it shows there's no lines. But if you look, the lines are still there. So... It's easier to just delete the lines. And then we can nudge this back. So we have different compartments in the region. Now we can take each one of these and just kind of go through this color scale. We'll actually leave that one blue, make that one a, a lighter blue. Go down here and I'm just going down the color chain of an RGB. Well, I should have had that one yellow. And I'm just changing the color. To me, it's a lot easier than changing the smart fill uh, color every time you can just go back and forth and I am going to pick a little bit different blue than that color there now I've got I've still got those lines but they're not really there they're um, just separated because of the smart field tool as you can see matter of fact let's left click left click right here, no lines at all. Now they're really still there, but that color screen is what I want. Control G to group them together, Control D to duplicate it, and then move that to the center. It's gotta be on the center, so I would back off, double click on it and see if it's not in the center. Now, <clears throat> I think we already made a duplicate, rotate it five degrees and we did. And what you're gonna get is a random kind of a pattern all the way around and they're going to match up because five goes into 30 or 30, 360 72 times now this is a little bit different than the other one i did i don't have near the amount uh, but you could do this almost exact same thing with the polygon tool uh, matter of fact you could do and it might even be better for color wise if we take this and take away, make sure all the lines are gone. So stay tuned for part two, and we'll make this with a polygon tool. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.